Look around the more affluent parts of Mexico's capital and you'd think that the city was awash. However, in Mexico City's poorer neighborhoods, blue, green and red barrels have become synonymous with roadsides and front yards of at least hundreds of thousands of residents who have no water supply. These 20-litre barrels are sporadically filled with water by government trucks, providing anything from zero to eight barrels per week. In the district of Xochimilco, or one of the city's surrounding hillsides, Gabriela Canovas, who lives with her husband and three children, has never received a permanent water supply in the 10 years she has lived there. Gregorio Alvarez receives about seven barrels per week for his family of five children and six grandchildren. Para los somos de familia, ahora sí que tenemos que estarla controlando, ¿sí? controlando el uso del agua porque somos bastante familia. No hay un bueno, en sí son no nomás somos nosotros, sino millones de familias que estamos en el mismo sistema. Entonces no es posible que de la noche a la mañana el gobierno vaya a solucionar todo, ¿no? With a population of 20 million, Mexico City is emblematic of the pressures for 21st century urban centers trying to cope with huge population growth. Paradoxically, Mexico City is built on five lakes and suffers from chronic flooding. With no natural drain, waste and rainwater is pumped out of the city. Rather than recycling this water, a different clean supply is funneled back in. Oscar Hernandez, the chief of staff at the National Water Commission, said that the solution is twofold. The main thing is that uh, for a long time people took water for rent. So people don't like to pay for the water. They don't like to pay for the service. Obviously you have a poor quality service. So you have leaks. You have a very low efficiency system to provide water. Uh, so what do you do? Okay, you pump water from wherever you find it. But, but first, you need to uh, uh, fix the uh, consumption, the, the consumption uh, uh, system. So you need to fix the system, have good quality potable water, but somebody has to pay for it. So if you don't start to actually, you know, okay, I'm, I'm going to provide you a, a service, and who's going to pay for it? That, that, that's the basic uh, mm -hmm. starting point. Okay, there's a lot of people that say, well, but there are people that cannot pay for the water. Oh, you can assure that you will have water, you know, the water that you need to live. But if you spend or, or consume water above what your basic needs, well, I, I guess everyone needs to pay for that. Mm -hmm. There's an approach to trying to regenerate the areas of the lakes. And in that regard, uh, what you need to do is Instead of using the lakes and the rivers of this area as uh, sewage drains, then treat the water, reuse that water, and then allow for the natural recharge of these lakes and then these rivers, then have uh, clean water mm -hmm. coming into the, in, into the area. Then in, in that regard, then you don't need uh, extra pumping to okay. pump water out of, uh, out of the uh, watershed. However, the federal government is preoccupied with drugs cartels and a rising murder rate in other parts of the country. And city authorities are likely to prioritize dealing with further floods during the rainy season expected this May. So for now, one thing seems certain concerning water in Mexico City. You've either got it or you haven't. Roger Davis, Al Jazeera, in Mexico City.